do that before. Yes, dear, it's wonderful. Look, do you mind if I have a word alone with Paul for a few minutes? No, of course. Good night. Good night. Paul, how did Adrian die? They told us he died of an illness. No, they killed him. They tortured him for three days. Three days? I tortured him much longer than that. Please. I can't talk to you here. Would you drive home with me, please? If you like. Thank you. Did you see him using his right arm? Yes, Mother. Well, Mother, yes, I'll be right back. I'm just going to get him a glass of water. Would you mind if Paul drove home with me? I'd like to talk to him. Oh, no, no, of course not. I'll just leave the door on the left. Shall we go, Paul? for a drink? Did Adrian live here? Yes. I don't know this place at all. We only moved in a few months before he left. The children. Would you like to see their room? Yes, please. All right. School. School? Yes, didn't the family tell you? I run the store for father and the children stay in school in town. They come home weekend. I'm sorry. Adrian made me promise to come and see them. Isn't that Adrian's watch? Yes, he gave it to me. It's broken? Yes. It has the children's picture in the back of it. I know. I gave it to him. Where's Wovo? Wovo? Libby's rag dog. Oh, well, she still has it. She'll bring it home with her tomorrow. Imagine they're knowing about Wovo. I know everything about the children. Well, I'll be able to see them then, tomorrow? Yes, of course you will. Shall we go in the other room, Paul? I do look forward so much to the weekend when they come home. Paul? What did you think I'd done with the children? Nothing. I, I came especially to see them, and when they weren't there. I don't know what Adrian would think of all this. Adrian? What do you mean? I see him very often. In my dreams. Don't you? Oh. Yes, I see him often. Very often. Are you sure I can't get you something? Maybe a little brandy. I think I will. All right. a certain letter to Adrian. The one about Hyde? Then you know about it. I never saw the letter, but he told me about it. Did he never get any of my other letters after that one? No, that was the last one he got, the day before he was captured. One day. If only it hadn't reached him. 
But it was true, wasn't it? Yes, it was true. I was just thinking of what he might have been spared. It did hurt him, didn't it? He changed after it. Did he hate me for it? I don't know. He just told me about it and... After that? Yes. He mentioned only the children. About how he must come back to save them. From what? From me? From this... Howard. But surely he must have known from my letter that I'd, I'd never let him have them. I don't know. He said he'd sooner see them dead. This was another of his favorites. Paul, Paul, I... Paul, I've got to talk to somebody. I, I've never been able to tell the family. You see, they think so much of me. Will you listen to me, will you? Yes. It had nothing to do with love or anything like that. It was too brief. I, I didn't even hate this man, much less love him. I kept all the hatred and disgust for myself. Even Adrian couldn't have had so much for me. He never said he had any. But you have, haven't you? No. Would it matter if I had? Yes, it would. Because there's something of Adrian about you. You don't hate me or judge me. No. Think if Adrian had come back, he'd have forgiven me. I don't know. You said he was a saint. He was a saint to me, too. I've loved him ever since I was a little girl. It was my whole life. I leaned on him for everything. When he went away, and I was left alone, I was lost. Do you think he could have understood but when I was with this other man, it was really him. Adrian, I was with. Only women are never supposed to be human. They must wait month after month, year after year in loneliness. But they must never give way to it. Well, I did. Because I loved him so much, I had to tell him what I'd done. Before he came back. In that letter. you anything to say to me? Didn't he send me one word? Didn't he even mention my name once? Yes, he did. I'd forgotten. What did he say? Tell me. He said your name. When? When he was dying. He said it twice. How did he say it? How did his voice sound? was just a whisper. Alice. Alice. It was the last thing he said as he died. Thank you. Thank you. Please, Paul. Remember, the family doesn't know anything about this. I won't tell anyone. I think I'd like to get back now. Oh, yes, of course, I'll drive you. No, I'd rather walk. But you don't know the way, Paul. Yes, I do. You will come and see the children tomorrow, won't you? Yes, I must keep my promise. Mustn't I? Yes. Well, good night. You'll never know what you've done for me. Good night, Paul.
so grateful for keeping your promise. Tomorrow, tomorrow you'll see them. Send them to me, quickly. Send them to me. You promised me the children, and a promise is a sacred thing. Yes, Agent. I hear you. Tomorrow. Tomorrow you'll see them. Send them to me. Send them to me. Must I wander alone? Must I? Yes, Adrian. I... Never forget me. Never forget me. Never forget. Good morning, Paul. Did you have a good night? Wonderful. I haven't slept like that in months. Good. Morning. Did your Adrian thing fit you? Mm-hmm. All except the slippers. Well, come on, let's hurry. It gave me such a start. I saw him there at the cookie jar, just like I used to catch Adrian in the mornings. You feel the same, then? About what? It's almost like having Adrian back. Well, for a moment, I, I just didn't know where I was. I lost the shoe. Oh, I was ahead of you all the time. Well, I have to let you win. All right, then. Let's see what you can do in the water. Or race you to the other side and back. No, wait a minute. Let's just relax for a bit. Okay. Oh, this is wonderful. If only one could stop time and stay with all this forever. Like this always. Nearly always, anyway. You can come here every morning. Or do you... Do you have to go back to the hospital? Well, maybe you won't have to be there long. And you can always come back here. Can I? Unless you have somewhere else you'd rather go, somewhere you'd prefer. Well, there's nowhere else. But I only have today and tomorrow. Paul, is there anything worrying you? Why do you ask? You say such odd things. What have I said? Well, yesterday you said there's no future for you, and just now you said there's only today and tomorrow. Well, I only meant that I have to go back tomorrow. Oh. Well, well come on.
Johnny's such a little character. He certainly is. Thanks so much for bringing them home. Well, nonsense. It was right on my way home. You know as well as I, I'd love nothing better than to have them for the whole day. No, you don't. The last time you had them, Libby got sick twice. Now, that's not fair. She was perfectly all right, right up until the cream puffs, I think it was. <laughs> had breakfast? Yeah, I just finished when you called. Another ten minutes and you'd have missed me. You're sure I'm not keeping you from anything? No, nothing at all. On the golf, at the club, that's all, and that can wait. Now, oh, what's on your mind? Well, I... I need some advice, Perry. Oh, as a lawyer or as a friend? You're always both to me. Yes, I know. Look, can I raise 10,000 quickly? Well, you can raise 15 if it comes to that, but uh, may I ask uh, strictly as your lawyer what it's for? Well, I... I want to lend it to somebody. I, I suppose it wouldn't be possible to... Raise it today, would it? Suppose you tell me what the trouble is. Its name be Howard Gray? Then you know about it. I ran into him one night a couple of weeks ago downtown. Did he... Did he tell you anything about me? I didn't stay very long. He was pretty high. I didn't want a scene. Then he told you. Alice, let's skip all this. The important thing is that he's worried. Is that right? Yes, that's right. This little letter came yesterday. Mm -hmm. Quite a letter. Love and money all mixed together. Alice. You in love with this man? Of course not. I never have been. Is this the first time he's asked to borrow money? No. Using the same threat that he'd go to the karma? He hinted at it. Of course, at that time, it was only a few hundred. It was long after I broke up with him. Why didn't you come to me then? Oh, Perry, I wanted to. Believe me, I wanted to, but I just couldn't. I was too ashamed. I've taken the trouble to find out a few things about our friend, Mr. Gray. It seems he's developed into quite a professional. All he needed was a war and a lot of lonely women. Preferably nice, decent ones. Decent? Oh, you'd be surprised unless you were a lawyer. You see, men like Gray do possess a certain power. All they need is a chance to use it. It's like a disease that attacks and works on a weakened body. Loneliness is a great weakness. You can't think much of me, can you, Perry? I can't throw any stones, Alice, and I know very few people who can. The main thing is that you mustn't blame yourself. You've got to stop being afraid. He can be handled. Now, if he comes here and he wants this money, you tell him he'll have to see me about it. I can fix it so that he'll never bother you again. Please, you mustn't be afraid. You're quite a guy, aren't you? <laughs> A lot of people would argue that point with you. But I will tell you exactly what I am. When it comes to waiting, I'm the world's champ. Uncle Perry! <laughs> well, you better see what our little character has gotten into now. Hmm? Coming, darling. Don't worry, we'll fix it. Won't we, Harry? Oh, that was wonderful. I can't remember the last home-cooked breakfast that I had. Come along, Maid. You can't stay here all day. It's dishes for you, young lady. Well, I don't have time to do that in my room, too. I have to be in town at 10. <laughs> After you've done the dishes, you've got plenty of time. 
She'll be bossing you next. <laughs> Would you like to come into town with me? Well, no, I have to go and see the children. I, I promised Alice I'd go over. I never knew anyone who made so many promises. I want to have a word with Paul first. No, no, my dear, I don't want that. Uh, Paul will just lend me a hand. Oh, no, you mustn't overdo it. Nonsense. Besides, Paul hasn't seen me do this yet. Now, my boy, if you'll just... Uh... Oh? Like a small boy showing off. All right, sir? Oh, that's fine. My boy, we have reason to be very grateful to you. In what way, sir? It's years since I moved this arm, much less walked. If you hadn't come here, I, I'd be just like I was before, useless to myself and to everyone else. I, I still don't see what I did. Paul, I had committed the great sin. I had given in. Then you walk in through our door, a stranger, and talk to us. And what happens? I walk again. My wife has new life and hope in her heart. And this house. It is as if a shadow had been removed from it. It's, it's like a miracle to us. As if Adrian himself has come back from the dead. Come back from the dead? Don't say that. Paul, I only meant... I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. I, I've been so happy here. I'm glad to hear that. It helps me to say something that I, well, I'd like very much to say. Tell me, Paul, uh, what are your plans? Plans? Yes, for the future. I, I don't have any. What? Why do you ask? Oh, I'm just interested. Have you chosen a career? <laughs> career? What has all this got to do with me? You mean you don't have to work? Why? Well, to put it briefly, even in the short time you've been here with us, we've come to regard you as one of us. Well, I have a business here, a bookstore, a good one. You could have a share in it as my son. Your son? Yes, Paul. This would be your home. And Mum and Dad and Meg and Jody and all the things. The grandfather clock and the piano. All mine. Yes, Paul. All yours. You really mean that? Every word. Don't you think Adrian would say the same? Adrian. Yes. If he was here with us now, in this room. But he is here. And you offer me all of this, and he's here. All the time. Listening. <laughs> <laughs> my promise. And you offer me this home. It isn't as if you'd be taking anything from Adrian. No, I'm not taking anything from him. Take a little time to think it over. It's all today and tomorrow. Yes, I still have today. Tomorrow. There's no hurry. And now you're going to see the children. Yes, I... I must see the children. Paul, are you off to Alice's? Yes. Do you know the way? Yes, I, I walked back last night. Well, have a nice time. I know you will. you love the children. I do already. What 
did he say? Tell the truth, I... I couldn't quite make him out. He seems to have an idea that he's uh, intruding here. Mommy, he's fat. Look at his tummy. <laughs> I know. Now we've sewn him up nice and tight, and his tummy can't fall out again. <laughs> oh, hello, Paul. Come on in. I thought I heard the doorbell. Libby, Johnny, this is Uncle Paul. He was a very good friend of Daddy's. Go on, say hello. Go on, he won't eat you. Sure. Is that Wo-Wo? How'd you know his name? Well, your daddy told me. I know all about Wo-Wo. I remember the time when he got lost and you couldn't find him anywhere. And you know where he was? In the garbage can. And you only found him just in time. I did? That's right, darling. Do you think, do you think I could have a look at him? Sure. Oh, my, my, he is fat, isn't he? He'll have to reduce. That's what my mommy does, we do. Oh, telling all my secrets. And you must be Johnny, of course. My, you have grown. You were very little when I first knew you. Look, how about showing Uncle Paul around the place, huh? Then I can have a chance to tidy up your room. Can we show him the barn? Oh, sure, if he'd like to see it. Would you? Very much. Then you can carry Wo-Wo. Thank you. All right, off you all go. And try not to get too dirty, will you? Yes, we'll all try. <laughs> Where are you going in such a hurry? We're going to try in the barn. Annie, this is Uncle Paul. He was a friend of Daddy's. Johnny, are you going to work up a good appetite for lunch? We aren't going to have cabbage, are we? Not today, but we are going to have roast beef and mashed potatoes. I just hate cabbage. Did Adrian die? They told us he died of an illness. No, they killed him. They tortured him for three days. Three days? I tortured him much longer than that. Please. I can't talk to you here. Would you drive home with me, please? If you like. You see him using his right arm. Yes, Mother. Well, Mother, yes, I'll be right back. I'm just going to get him a glass of water. Would you mind if Paul drove home with me? I'd like to talk to him. Oh, no, no, of course not. I'll, I'll just leave the door on the latch. Shall we go, Paul?
care for a drink? Did Adrian live here? Yes. I don't know this place at all. We only moved in a few months before he left. The children. Would you like to see their room? Yes, please. All right. the store for father and the children stay in school in town. They come home weekends. I'm sorry. Adrian made me promise to come and see them. Isn't that Adrian's watch? Yes, he gave it to me. It's broken? Yes. It has the children's picture in the back of it. I know. I gave it to him. Where's Wovo? 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 Libby's rag dog. Oh, well, she still has it. She'll bring it home with her tomorrow. Imagine you knowing about Wilbur. I know everything about the children. Well, I'll be able to see them then, tomorrow? Yes, of course you will. Shall we go in the other room, Paul? Yes. Oh, I do look forward so much to the weekends when they come home. What did you think I'd done with the children? Nothing. I, I came especially to see them, and when they weren't there. I don't know what Adrian would think of all this. Adrian? What do you mean? I see him very often, in my dreams. Don't you? Oh. Yes, I see him often. Very often. Are you sure I can't get you something? Maybe a little brandy. I think I will. All right. a certain letter to Adrian. The one about Howard? Then you know about it. I never saw the letter, but he told me about it. Did he never get any of my other letters after that one? No, that was the last one he got, the day before he was captured. One day. If only it hadn't reached him. But it was true, wasn't it? Yes, it was true. I was just thinking of what he might have been spared. It did hurt him, didn't it? He changed after it. Did he hate me for it? I don't know. He just told me about it, and after that? Yes. He mentioned only the children, about how I must come back to save them. From what? 